It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, if you have not yet, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Today's video is, though, is... Um, on Mayberry's original mayor, remember Mayor Pike, little fat mayor, uh, and how he deserves more respect than what he gets. Let's take a look. One of the first ever Mayberry Days, an annual celebration of all things Andy Griffith that takes place in the TV legend's hometown of Mount Airy, North Carolina. Everything had to be just right. The local barber sh shop got named, renamed Floyd's. Shopkeepers posted photos of Andy and Barney in their window, and the city chipped in $1,400 to overhaul a vintage 1962 Ford Galaxy to create a, a replica of the Mayberry Squad car. The cherry on top? Uh, the town mayor agreed to host the opening ceremonies dressed as his mayor count, uh, Mayberry counterpart, uh, Mayor Roy Stoner. Now, Mayor Stoner was hilariously portrayed by actor Parley Bear, and for many fans of the Andy Griffith Show, he remains the most memorable mayor from the show. But Mayberry actually had multiple mayors in the series run, and Mayor Stoner wasn't even the first. That distinction goes to Mayor Pike, one of the Mayberry's overlooked and earliest colorful characters portrayed by the amazing character actor Dick Elliott. Mayor Pike appears right from the start on the Andy Griffith Show, featuring in 11 episodes from 60 to 62. Finally referred to as our little fat mayor, Mayor Pike had a high funny voice that piped up in agreement with whatever the popular opinion seemed to be. Typically wore a string bow tie with a black coat, dressed very neatly, but hardly ever able to make up his own mind about anything. Elliot perfected the comedy of this character, who played a big part in favorite episodes like Mayberry Goes Hollywood or Crime Free Mayberry and The Manicurist, his final appearance. According to the book, the definitive uh, Andy Griffith show reference, the character was inspired by someone Andy knew in the real world. Mayor Pike's character was based on a resident of Andy Griffith's hometown, Mount Airy, North Carolina. The gentleman's name was Floyd Pike, and he was a well-respected businessman. Of course, once Mayor Pike left Mayberry, Mayor Stoner came in and Bear, uh, another legendary character actor, capably filled Elliot's shoes after arriving in town and rattling laid back Andy in it. As a strict administrator, it makes sense that Stoner would be memorable, even though he appeared in only seven episodes between 62 and 63. But considering how Mayor Pike is rooted in a real character from Griffith's hometown, which inspired Mayberry, perhaps one of these Mayberry days, the mayor might consider nodding to Mayor Pike by donating a string bow tie instead of a uh, Mayor Stoner stripe tie. I'd like to see it. And if you're wondering why uh, Mayor Pike left, is uh, Dick Elliott passed away. And that's when Parley Bear came in. I actually thought Parley Bear was on the show longer than that uh kind of surprised me and uh actually I, and i think for a lot of fans mayor pike was the uh was the favorite um mayor of mayberry now i have issue with having a mayor be the boss of the county sheriff as andy did i always thought that was very weird but is what it is and it worked out hope you guys had a great day uh, don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia, classic rock and country music facts and trivia. God bless you, and yep, yeah, be praying for you.